there are two powers uh, spoken of in Scripture uh, when you're dividing what is wicked from what is from God. There is the, the power of the Holy Spirit, and then there is the power of evil, which in the legal system we call that power of attorney. Uh, to The word attorney comes from the word attorn, uh, which in its root meaning also meant to uh, change fidelity from one lord to another lord. So you can understand that uh, when the lawyers swear an oath to the bar, they're swearing an oath to Satan. Uh, they've crossed the barrier between truth and fiction. So the world of man deals in the pretend world, uh, the real, of the, the world of God or the, uh, the reality uh, is, is truth. So the, the two, we kind of get mixed up at times because so many people uh, in the world of even the belief of Christ have, uh, are operating in legality, in the legal world, in legalism, and therefore they're, they're confused. Uh, if they really understood even the birth registration system itself, um, the whole world uh, that is under the power of Satan or the wicked one or a wickedness uh, is reflected because the fact is that the whole power of the legal system operates through a legal surname. And uh, surname by definition leads to so many definitions of what is blasphemous or contrary to Christ because the definition of the surname means uh, a name over and above the Christian name saying it's superior to. And that was the biggest uh, faith hurdle for the early Christians uh, to not participate um, as Roman legal citizens uh, because of the fact was that uh, they were being... Uh, having to burn incense or do some act of worship uh, that stated such. So the, the surname historical background leads back to nothing but legalism, nothing to do with the, the law of God. So we, we have to be really careful. Don't confuse legal lex law with God's law or the Bible. They're two separate things. What man may require you to do and what God requires are two different things. One is natural and good, and one is uh, the positive make-believe world of man, the positive law. So uh, we have to be careful that we don't confuse the two or, or try to merge our beliefs mixed in between the two. Uh, Christians are, are not legal. Christianity is non-legal, not legal.